Hey everyone, I'm Man Cub from Weld.com. Today we're going to be building a testing fixture. If you're looking for a good first project, this would be a great project for you. Alright, so let's talk about our uh, materials you need for your project. You can use angle, square tubing, aluminum, angle, it don't matter what it is. So I'm just using this today. Uh, we're going to be using a 2 inch angle. You need a total of uh, 28 inches of this, that's for your base. Then this is going to be your uh, little vertical legs that holds the plate, vertical or horizontal, when you set it up for your testing or practice for your testing. We're going to need 16 inches. Uh, it don't have to be 16, it could be 14 inches, whatever you have. Then these are going to be just, all you need is two 1 inch strips. We're going to cut that and that's going to hold your plate from falling down. Then what's good about this is you could take your ground clamp, let's say you have a wooden table. You can take your ground clamp and clamp it to this uh, base and you're good to go. You don't have to worry about figuring a way out, clamp it to your material or anything. So let's go ahead and get started on this and I'll show you how fast and easy this is. All right, let's talk about the tools and power sources you will need uh, for this job. So we're going to be using a MIG machine, Everlast 315, but you can use whatever you have in your shop, TIG, stick, or MIG. We're going to be using a plasma today. Uh, it's just very easy and fast, but you can also use a cutting wheel, a bandsaw, whatever you have. So let's go over the tools that you need, your hand tools. So we're going to be using a grinder with a hard rock, a whelpers, a square, a combination square, a piece of soapstone or crayon, whatever you have at your disposal, tape measure, and a couple of vice grips. Let's do a little quick layout. So you're going to take two, your two pieces of your angle, stack them on top of each other. We're going to be building the base first. So I'm going to be measuring this out to seven inches. Then clamp it really good and make sure it don't move. Before you set your machine, you want to uh, have the right consumables. So this machine comes with 60 amp consumables. We're going to set it to 60 amps. All right, so that's one set. So that's how you do the cutting and layout. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this other set because we need a total of four for the base. This piece of metal is about 16 inches. This is for the vertical uh, support columns. So your, your base metal will rest against it. So we're just gonna go ahead and cut this in half. All right, we gotta make two last cuts. So this one we're gonna measure one inch down and one inch down again. Um, this is gonna be the resting uh, bracket. Basically, your plate's gonna come down and it's gonna rest against this while you weld. All right, since we did double lines back to back, you want to cut, make sure you're cutting on this back side of the line. All right, the next part is uh, you grab your pieces of metal, clamp them down uh, one at a time, then take your hard rock and your grinder and clean up the dross on the top and bottom in the mill scale, then kind of square up your cuts. All right, so we're going to go ahead and lay this out, pretty simple it. The reason I'm building this upside down so it's easy to fit. It's resting flat. I don't have to fight with that uh, angle, that lip up and down space right there. <clears throat> so the reason we got this lip on the inside is when you're welding an open root or starting on the bottom, uh, so you don't weld to that outside lip of that angle. Mm -hmm. So while you're squ squaring up your pieces, just bring them where they just meet. You're going to leave like a little valley. It's going to look like a V valley. And so when you're welding, it'll have like a little pocket uh, the bead will lay in because if you don't have nothing the bead will just lump up so it will look nice and uniform and it'll look really good plus it gives you a straight line that edge will your bead will look consistent as it lies on the table here we're going to be tacking on the top side when you flip this over and you weld down you're going to have a nice uniform bead that won't be humped up today i'm going to be using this everlast power i mig 315 i'm using er70 s-6 wire 035 you can use whatever you have on hand I'm running 18.5 volts and 205 my wire feed speed and I'm running CO2. So we're not going to weld this out yet, we're going to fit it all together. So we're going to grab this piece of angle, make sure your angle is flush with the front of this right here. Just use your finger, look at this straight line of this piece of angle and kind of eyeball it make sure they're all even while you're looking at this. Then we're going to grab our mid gun and tack this corner right here. Alright, it don't need to be level yet, uh, we're going to go ahead and do the same exact thing on this side. Take your last two pieces that you cut in at one inch. You're just going to go like this with it. Just how I'm holding it. You're going to match it up with this straight line. You're going to go on the outside and you're going to kind of eyeball it. Then we're going to go ahead and tack it. So when you're tacking this up, don't put a tack on this outside uh, corner because remember we got to weld one nice straight weld with no pregnant worms. And you want this 
on the flush with this plate right here on this angle because when you weld you're going to start and you kind of go a small bead go all the way around and go wrap it if it's like this a pot one high one low it's going to look wavy right here in the middle it'll look nice and consistent it'll look like a professional did it now for the fun part the exciting part what you've been waiting for we're going to weld the outside corners of your base all you're going to do is go downhill that's the easiest way then when we get to our verticals right here and these we're going to start at one corner and just do a nice wrap around and that's it so here it is it's pretty simple uh, this is what you could do with scrap metal so let me explain what this is exactly going to do so we can weld flat all you gotta do is prop this up if you're welding similar metals if you're not you can leave it laying down when you're doing an open route so we could weld horizontal all right, so this is going to be propped out a little bit on the bottom so you won't weld to your angles right here. And then also your vertical. All right, all right, we're not even to the best part yet. So the best part is we're sitting down and welding. Can't get much better than that. You're going to get good fast and you're going to get comfortable and get your technique down. That's the best part. I want to give a good shout out to Uncle Bob. Appreciate it, Bob Moffitt, for passing on the knowledge and your great idea to us. Um, remember guys, I'm Mancuff from Weld.com and always weld mean, weld green.